Hello viewers, it's Peter Elgar from Brentwood Essex, the old film bloke, and welcome back to my channel for one of my reviews on another borrowed camera. Yes, my friend from the camera club has found this in a car boot sale, and um, he's given it to me to give you a review. It's a very simple camera, but wait till I tell you about the results. It's called the Ricoh. SLX 500 and thereby is a clue to the shutter. It's got a maximum shutter speed of 500th. This is a M42 screw thread lens so it fits Pentax, Practica etc. all those from that era. It has the, the bar inside which bangs on a little pin here and stops down the lens so it's like it's a f2 lens there we are let's show you the action it all works nicely nice aperture no no lag it's a auto Riconon 50 millimeter f2 lens and this lens is fantastically sharp it it actually beats my F2 Super Takuma off of my Pentax here. Couldn't believe it. I've done some pictures on a short strip of film and the F2 resolution is fantastic. Now I've also taken some F4 and F2.8. I didn't stop down to F11 because even the dummy plan <laughs> Lens is sharp F11. Oh, I've used F4, TUF28, and F2 for a series of pictures. And I've done some with bounce flash at F2, and that was pin sharp. Then I've done one with direct flash, and I set it set 6.3 in between 8 and 5, 6. And that was pin sharp as well. And when I took some buildings, F2, it resolved all the bricks. Lovely, lovely jubbly. So that's the lens. So the camera is very, very simple. It's pared down, cost saving model. But it works very well. Inside the mirror box is a foam strip which is in very good condition. It hasn't gone rotten. There's a blacking strip here which prevents reflections inside the mirror box. On the top, you have the controls, which are very, very simple. As I say, it's a very pared down model, but it works. And they've stripped out all the slow speed train of gears. All the little cogs from slow speed are not there, because it only goes to a thirtieth of a second and brief time. And the maximum speed you get is a five hundredth of a second. The red is 60th and that is the maximum speed with which you can use electronic flash. You can plug your flash in here which is a hot shoe with one contact but I used the three millimeter coaxial socket here and I plugged in my Mecha Blitz. So I like to have cameras with those sockets because you can plug in your studio flash leads as well. I hate it when they've left these three millimeter coaxial ones out really hate that you've got to mess about with things plugged in there it's a lovely smooth action a 60th I want, I want, um, there's um, no delayed action that's another cost saving feature that's the 30th now to open it there's a little clip here and you pull that and your back opens. Now inside it was all clean. It's a borrowed camera so the first thing I check is the light seal strips along there are they good? Yes they were still good and the light seal strip along there is still good it didn't need renewing. I thought that was I thought they're very good. It's got a nice firm take-up spool here when you put in the leader of your film it engages on a little peg 
and it really grips it very well. So it's got, I think, cloth focal plane shutter coming across there, horizontally running. So that is why you can't flash synchronize at 125th or faster because it's horizontal running. You put it on a brief time, then you can see through the hole. There, there we are. That's with the shutter fully open, and the mirror has gone up to the top against the mirror bumper foam. And there's the mirror box, and the mirror pops down again. No delayed action, but it does have a control to stop down the lens here, which will push forward the little bar like that and it will bang on the little pin and then you can check your depth of field if you want to of course in the viewfinder it goes all dark <laughs> so we'll stop it down we want to have F, on F8 we'll push that the lens is now stopped down now well, you can't see it that way we'll show you it through the back oh gonna have a, we're going to have it on brief there, now the lens has stopped down. You can see the aperture for f8. There. It's a very, very simple camera. It only needs a battery here, which is the legal 1.35 Mercury cell, and so there's no battery in it. So I couldn't show you how the light reading affects, but inside. I think it's got these little LEDs which light up and you balance them by changing your shutter speed and aperture until you get a green one but there was no battery and I haven't got the right battery for it but that's it frame counter here um, socket for your cable release very very simple but the main thing was that lens is fantastically sharp so I will reluctantly return that to my friend today and um, show him the negatives which he can then inspect under a six times magnifier. So I hope you all have a good snappy time with your own cameras. Go out and take some wonderful prize winners on real film folks. Keep the film interest industry going. So I'll sign off for now and thanks for watching and I hope You'll look at my possi the possibility of buying me a coffee down below. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.